Hello, my name is Kelly and I'm a yoga instructor for Inward Office. I teach a yoga for strength and stability class. Um, I'm gonna show you a few of the, those postures that can help us uh, create that level of strength and stability in our own person. So let's start. First position we're gonna do is we're gonna come into just a standard tabletop, having the hands shoulder distance apart and the knees hips with distance apart. So in this po popular <laughs> position, asana, uh, we are promoting strength by using our entire foundation, our feet, our hands to promote that stability. And we're pressing down in the hands. We're having our spine neutral. And then I'm gonna reach that left arm forward. So all of a sudden my core muscles have to kind of compensate for the removal of that one part of my body. And then I can, if I'd like, bring that right leg straight out behind, leveling the heel with the hip, reaching in opposite directions. So we're promoting stability by using the core stabilizers. We're pressing through that back heel and we're reaching forward. And that builds a strength as well. We have to use that right arm and that right leg. Good, we can stop by bringing the hand and knee down. And other side, right arm reaches forward, left leg back. This is just something you can do to have your balance engage, to feel stable, to breathe, to build a little strength in the core. Good, and then we'll reach the hand and knee down. Another very overlooked but stable <laughs> position for building strength and stability is just Tadasana. So we come with our feet hips width distance or our big toes touching, a little space for the heel. You can do it from the side as well. Let's, I'll show you from the side. <laughs> So I'll show you how I just normally stand. This is kind of it. So my tailbone juts out, my shoulders roll back. What I'd like to do is feel all four corners of the feet, lift the kneecaps up, tuck the tailbone, let the heart lift up and the crown of the head draw up. Good, melt the shoulders away from the ears. Finding that foundation from the soles of the feet all the way up, kind of like building blocks, stacking, heels over under the ankles, knees above, the heels, hips above the knees, shoulders above the hips, head on the center of the shoulders. Then I can reach the arms up and come into Urdhva Hastasana into Dasana. Stretching, reaching, it does change the dynamic of the pose. Your tailbone might jut out, make sure it draws down. The pelvis is neutral. We're not tipping too far forward or too far back. Good, and then we're gonna bring the hands by the side. Those are just two very uh, foundational po poses to do to promote strength and stability in your body. Join me on Mondays for class and we do much more, um, but those are just some things you can do in your spare time, even when you just wake up in the morning. Have a great day.